Germany can be a really weird place. That's it. Today, we're going to tell you five weird things about Germany. <laughs> Buenos dias, I'm Jeff. And I'm Alex. And we're two Americans who've been living in Germany for over 10 years. And we're here to share our experiences of what it's like to live here with all of you. As always, Alex tells you the truth, but first go ahead and hit subscribe down below if you can. And if you're willing, buy the like button, a bottle of Rowan Co. Irish whiskey. You know, he finally learned to rollerblade. Great, good for you, like button. And just like him, you guys are gonna learn a few things today. We're gonna tell you five, that's five. Actually, it might be, could be seven. six or seven. Weird things about Germany. Now we've lived here, as we said before, for over 10 years, so yeah. we've seen, um, Many a weird thing, and uh, we still discover things to this day where we go, huh? Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's the country we live in? Huh. You know. That's weird. We're already um, here. We already have partners. We own houses. We can't go anywhere, so we're kind of... We're stuck with these we're weird just, things, and stuck. if you are not from Germany, you might not find these weird. If you are from Germany, maybe you don't know these. I don't know what you know. I'm not in your head. Now, number one. Now, this is going to hurt if you're a good old American boy like me and Alex here, you know, you've got your pickup truck, and what do you like to do Get on the your weekend? Ford F-350. Yeah, and you want to clean that bad boy, wash it in your front yard. I mean, I used to, all kidding aside, I used to wash my car all the time. When I was in, oh, when yeah. I was in high school, you wanted that thing looking uh, prim and proper. But uh, in Germany, it is illegal. You cannot wash your own car. To wash your own car in the privacy of your own property. Now, it sounds kind of insane, but it does make sense because it's all about the environment. Of course, Germany cares, or at least pretends to care a lot about its environment. And I think they do a pretty good job with a lot of things. And one of those things is not washing a car because a lot of that, you know, residue can go off into the groundwater. And we don't want that. It's not good for crops, not good for bugs, not good for animals. So they're worried about the soaps and the chemicals. Exactly. Even though they do make environmentally friendly soap that you could buy, but sure. basically they're just like... A lot of water. Nope. You know, they, they want you to... Basically, you have to go and wash your car which just sucks you have to pay to wash your car at a car washing facility right. because, because they have their drains have uh, filters for all these chemicals and all exactly. that. It makes sense. It still bothers me. I'll be honest. Hey, owning a car is a privilege, not a right. Mm. So mm. got to pay for that privilege. But you know what uh, should be a right? Whiskey? Oh, that's better. There it is. Cheers. Cheers. Sweet. Not too shabby. Yeah. Not too shabby. Moving on to number... Dose. Two. It's fine, if you will. Now, for number two, this is a pretty interesting one, but in certain situations in Germany, it can be illegal to insult someone in public. Yes, a Beleidigung, or insult, is illegal in Germany, which is weird for, again, an American like me or Alex, because in the U.S., you can go as far as flipping off a police officer or telling him to go f*** himself, because that is protected speech under the First Amendment. The Supreme Court has ruled that that is protected speech. So um, you can say pretty much whatever you want as, as, as long as it's not hate speech or you're not threatening somebody. Right. Um, in Germany, not the case. Insulting somebody in public can get you up to a year in prison or a fine or... Maybe possibly, both. Possibly both. I don't know. Yeah. Just agree to there that day, I guess. Now, here are some real world examples. These actually happened in Germany in real life. Now, a person stuck his tongue out at somebody... 150 euro fine. That's crazy. So stupid. Uh, someone called someone a nutter. A nutter. Like, he's crazy. Oh, what a nutter. Uh, 250 euro fine. And there was one person who was charged 1,600 euro for calling somebody an asshole or arschloch. In, if you uh, will. In German. Now, the fine depends on your um, salary, you know, how much money you earn. So that 1,600 euro fine might have been for somebody who was, you know, I don't know. Let's call him a BMW CEO. That's just, a, just that's just such a stereotypical job for a German to have. Uh, <laughs> even though, even there's though, so many, there's yeah. so many BMW CEOs in Germany. <laughs> Although, yeah, how many people have you met who actually work for a BMW? But anyways, for, <laughs> for me, I, I really um, treasure the First Amendment and the fact in the U.S. that you can say what you want and not have repercussions. So it really bothers me that in Germany you can flip somebody off um, or you know. You know, give give them like even if you just like point, you just go like Easy. like your cuckoo, like your weird hand signals there because they're obscene are also going to get you fined. And I think well. especially while driving is when it gets mostly enforced. I think, yeah. but I don't know. I've never heard anyone. I've never seen it happen. But right. technically, that's the law, and it's weird. What else is weird? <laughs> Speaking of weird, in Germany they actually now have special trash cans that have cup holders for your empty beer bottles. They do. It's pretty cool. Uh, you, you see them around a little bit in Berlin. I've seen them in Hamburg before. I've seen them in other small places. Around the trash can, there's a little you know, cup holder that you see like in a car. 
and you put your beer in there and that's easier for someone to take it who wants to get that, you know, six cents. We mentioned before the Fond system in Germany, Fond meaning deposit, because in Germany, the um, cans, bottles, etc., are worth quite a bit of money. So when you finish drinking a beer or what have you, you literally just put it on the ground and to a tourist, they might think, oh, you're littering, but you put it on the ground because within five minutes, it'll be taken by um, a homeless person, uh, a pensioner. You know, I've, I've seen just retired people who they collect the bottles for yeah. money. Let's actually put like some cup yeah. holders so it like kind of organizes it. And yeah, you don't have to bend over to pick up those bottles. So. I know I've seen yeah. them near uh, the zoo in Berlin. I've seen one there. But they're, and they're at around. Mauer, at Mauer Park, they Mauer have Park, you've yeah. seen a few. Yeah, they're pretty cool. It's a recent thing. The past, uh, I'd say two or three years during the pandemic, they started popping up. So uh, a little more maybe. Possibly at a city near you. So <laughs> soon. Coming soon <laughs> to a city near you. Uh, another weird thing, number four, I believe we were at. What you got? is in Germany, pumping gas is a bit different than it is in the States. True. Now, and also in other countries that I've been to, road tripping at least. Mm -hmm. uh, in the States, for example, you go up to the pump, you put your card into the pump, you pump your gas and you get out of there. Or you, or you walk in and you give cash to the attendant. Right. And this is not knowing how much you're paying, right? You're, right. you're, you're, you're pre-paying basically. And in Germany, you just kind of go up to the pump and you start pumping your gas without paying first or so even putting a card in. And then after you go into the attendant and then you pay and you get your merry way. Now you might be thinking, I can just steal gas all day. You'd be wrong. Which is what I do all the time. You would be wrong. <laughs> you don't even have a license. <laughs> no, I don't. If you do drive away, there are cameras just everywhere. They got to fix your license plate. So you have to pay for that gas and a hefty fine. Now, this one might shock you. Uh, again, I'm shocked already. <laughs> big, big difference from the US. In Germany, it is not illegal to escape from prison. If you're unfamiliar with it in the US, and I think rightly so, if you escape from prison, you're, you're given an extra two years on your sentence, five years on your sentence, et cetera, because obviously you're creating a manhunt, uh, you know, all these police and resources are being put. So you are punished for escaping from prison, but not so in Germany. Because based on German law, it's stated that humans have an innate pursuit of freedom. Mm -hmm. And so breaking out of prison is just going with what your biological body is telling you to do. It's just a natural thing. It's a natural thing. Yeah. But that doesn't mean if, you know, you'll be totally home free. You know, if you break anything on your way out, got to pay for that. If you're wearing clothes, that's theft. So I'm assuming you're stealing the, you know, the onesies, the Absolutely. orange jumpsuits. So I'm sure they find loopholes away. But sure. if you help someone escape from prison... Yeah. That is punishable, but being yeah. the one who escaped is not punishable. But yeah, right. as you said, like if somehow you escape from prison without breaking anything, stealing anything, or hurting anyone, technically you would receive no additional right. time on your sentence. It doesn't mean you have freedom now. They'll still put you back into prison. Oh yeah, it's not like ooh, good on you. I mean, I think I think if you do it, you know, like you did it. I think you did of, the thing. I think some of you might disagree with Alex, but uh, it is what it is. <laughs> and our next weird thing about Germany. Uh, Germans count differently, obviously, language-wise. It's not one, two, three, it's eins, zwei, drei. But also, and that's exactly what we're talking that's about. That's what we're talking about. <laughs> but also with their fingies. Now, if any of you have seen the Quentin Tarantino film Glorious Bastards, you already know what we're talking about. You do. It mostly comes up with use, more use of the thumb, I would say. The now, thumb. In, in the U.S., when we say the number two, we go two, two. In Germany, that is two. Same with three. You include the thumb, that's three. And in the US, you do this or this. Three like this. So in the film, an American spy gives himself away by doing the American three instead of the German three. So if you want to look uh, German, like a, like a local, stick out that thumb. <laughs> and be a little weird. Be a little weird. So another weird thing that I found kind of bizarre when I was sitting in a car, not weird driving. Weird or bizarre? Weird. Hmm. Weird is the right word. <laughs> So in the States, when you're driving, they go green, yellow, red to warn you, hey man, pump the brakes, slow down. And then you're, you're waiting at the light, waiting for light to go again, right? Right. And it goes red, right to green again. And, and then, you, you know, <laughs> let's get out of here. You're off. You probably know this. You've heard of this, I'm assuming. And in Germany, <laughs> when you're driving, it also goes green, yellow, red. Crazy, right? But when you're stopped at a red light, it goes red, yellow, green to warn you to get your engines revving to get going. So a lot of cars in Germany, the engines turn off automatically when you're sitting at a red light and then turn back on. So it gives you a little extra right. few seconds to get that engine revving up again, especially yeah. in the winter. But I think it's more based off of most cars have manual transmissions and it gives you time to get yourself in gear and ready to go because you know, you may, maybe it's a long light, you already have your emergency brake on too because you're tired chilling. of holding. Yeah, you're just chilling and like, oh, okay, yellow, boom, ready, go. I so, kind of like it. It gives you a little, like it too. little warning like, hey, Hey man, about to go green. But is it kind of weird? Maybe a little bit if you're American. 
It's a little weird. You know what's not as weird? This. This. This is a Rowan Co. Irish. What are you thinking? Uh, I like it. It's pretty sweet. I'll give it like a nice uh, 6 out of 10, maybe. I'll give it three thumbs up. Nice. I'm not going like to tell you out of how many, though. All right, then. Please stay safe, stay healthy, and also stay a little weird. And also, subscribe if you would like. But also, stay thirsty. Cheers. Oh. Oh, what did I say? That's better. Damn it. <laughs>